Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson. This week we're going to be doing another admin panel video and one of our technical team, Mark, is going to walk us through how to manage end user security settings in the admin panel. So if you want to know more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. So if we go to a user section and we select the individual user here, and while you're in the user section of an individual user, myself here, an example, um, you can go here to the security section for an individual user. So up here at the top, you can reset a user's password from here, or you can do it here from the left-hand side, but we'll do it from here. So if I wanted to reset my own password, I click on reset password, I can automatically generate a password or I can create a password you can manually type in um, a password here. It must have at least eight characters. If I automatically generate a password, click reset, it'll reset my password, reset an individual user's password. Um, you can also, after you've reset the password, send the sign in details to the user whose password just reset to whatever address you want. Um, on the security security keys, um, I don't have any security keys there at the moment. Um, you can add a security key here. So if you wanted to uh, add a security key, you can click add security key. You'll follow the on-screen instructions. You need to plug the security key into your computer. Um, it's the most secure method of two-step verification. So it's a security key directly added to your account. So it can only be used to sign into your account. And it's the most secure method of two-step verification that you can get. And here we have two-step verification. You can, for an individual user, you can turn it off here just for this user. Um, you can get your backup verification codes from here. You click on that and you'll have 10 um, backup verification codes that you can use if you, for some reason, don't have your phone with you. Um, your admin can provide these backup verification codes for if for whatever reason you get locked out of your account and you can't get back in. Farther down, we have the recovery information. Um, so that's my recovery information. That's the phone number there. Um, so this is like if you get locked out of your account, this is where the recovery information will go. If you're asked for a login challenge, it will go to that phone number. Or if you need to get an email to your recovery address, this is where it would be. You can change this to whatever you like. Um, so if for some reason, if if you sign in from a, a new location, you'll normally get a login challenge. A login challenge is basically just to verify that you are the correct person or the valid person to access the account. Um, sometimes you could get locked out of your account because of that. So you can turn it off here for 10 minutes. So the next time you try and sign in within that 10 minutes, it will, it won't require the login challenge again. So if he was just locked out, lock, or sorry, locked out due to the login challenge, you can turn it off here. And that will turn it off for 10 minutes only. So the signing cookies here. Um, if you reset a user signing cookies, it will sign them out of all web-based um, web um, sessions. So basically, if they lost, if a user lost the device, or they were signed into a public computer or something like that, you could reset the signing cookies here, and it will sign them out of all devices, all mobile phones. And uh, they just have to sign back in again. It's quite handy for lost or stolen devices. Here at the bottom, 
you have your application specific passwords so basically if you're setting an account up on outlook or mac mail or anything like that um, sometimes you're going to have to create an app password you can see when the app password was created and when it was last used and if you want to revoke it you can select the trash can here finally down here at the very bottom you have any applications that are connected to my account so you have gas you have coursera you have afi g suite backup if i wanted to revoke access to any of these applications i just click on remove here on the right hand side click on the trash can and it will revoke access to those applications.